Today, we're gonna to talk about this LS MT-774. Stick with us. Alrighty, everybody. So we're out here at Deech Tractor and we're gonna be covering the new MT-774. There's a lot to cover on this thing. Alrighty, guys. LS has really stepped up their game. They made a lot of cosmetic changes. Let's take a look at it. All right, so LS has made three big changes. First, they've added a new sky blue paint. Now, the next thing, which I really, really like, they've gone full LED all the way around the tractor. Every single light on this thing is LED. And then finally, they've changed the color of the rims to this nice silver color. Alrighty guys, LS has changed the entire look of this hood from their previous designs. In my opinion, you can see a lot more from driving this tractor inside of the cab. All right, so now LS has switched to this more aggressive looking grill, but along with that, they've improved serviceability of it as well as engine performance. So one of the other things that LS did is they put a 206.7 cubic inch engine in this thing. This is a 73 point seven horsepower motor so at the rear of this mt 774 at the pto we have 65.6 .6 horsepower it is a 540 540 e 750 and a thousand all righty so because this tractor is a 73.7 .7 horsepower tractor which is under 75 horsepower it does not require diesel exhaust fluid okay so on the new MT-774, the, the standard tire that comes on this is an R1. This particular tractor does have R14s. It is an option. If you decide that you want R14s, you can option for the R14s on this tractor. So the LS MT-774 uses the same loader that they use on the LS MT-101. This is an LL8100. So the lift capacity on this loader is 5,139 pounds. It has a breakout force of 5,313. So both of the capacities I just gave you are at the pivot pin. This is a beefy, beefy loader. The frame on this loader is thick. Everything about this loader is heavy duty. It has a full frame that runs under the tractor and bolts to the back axles. This is a beefy loader. So the three-point hitch on this tractor has a 7,275 lift capacity at the pin. It does come with the adjustable link arms just like many of the other LS tractors do. Also, it, it has a um, lift cylinder here that will assist in the lift. It does come uh, with a single cylinder on it, but it does have an option to add on a second cylinder if you would like a little extra lift capacity. The remotes on this tractor, it only come with two remotes instead of the three remotes that I've seen in the past, like on my 573. Other than that, a lot of the back of this tractor is just like uh, the, seven, the 573 that I own. So it does come with the external lift for the three-point hitch on the back of the tractor for whenever you're hooking up in implements, you can lift or lower with this, with this handle right here. As you see, I'm lowering the tractor's turned off right now. This tractor is on a large frame, but it, and it does come with this very hefty uh, draw bar. It does come with a draft control, just like many of the other tractors do. It has the adjustable link arms that are screw type. They're not the type that where you pull a pin and actually adjust it. They are a screw type link arm. But other than that, the back of this tractor is still fairly impressive. It has a lot of, a lot of good features in it and uh, I'm impressed with it. I think that uh, they've done a good job back here. Again, the heavy duty draw bar, heavy duty three point hitch, two remotes. You have your, you have your handle for your, your lifting your three point hitch up and down. Very impressive. The hydraulic system on this tractor uses a 15.7 gallon per minute hydraulic pump for the implement. On the steering pump, it is a 6.5. This gives this a total of 22.2 gallons per minute for the hydraulic system on this tractor. Diesel fuel capacity is a 30.4 gallon tank on this tractor. Another standard feature on the MT-774 is gonna be the third function valve. Alrighty, so the transmission on this tractor 
is a 24 by 24. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about that up in the cab. So right down here, you got the 540, your neutral position, your 750 and your 540E and your 1000 for your PTO. Moving along here, we got the high, medium and low. So it's a three range transmission. All right, so looking over here at the gear shift, we do have a four speed gear shift. We also have a high and a low, as well as a D clutch button right here on the back, making this a 24 by 24 transmission. So it is a power shuttle shift on this tractor as well. Standard feature on this tractor is it does come with a buddy seat. So looking right over here at the loader stick on the back here, you do have the buttons for the third function. Uh, if you do get that installed on the loader, but it does come with the valve already pre-installed and everything like that. You do have your switches over here on the side here because it is a six post cab and this this little knob right here this is going to be for your engagement of your transmission using that power shuttle so continuing around in the cab you have your two remote valves right here you do have this location for the third remote if you decide that you want that your pto is a push pull button uh like has already been said this is your engagement on how harsh the transmission engages it is now a turn knob and not a button you also have a 540 switch right here. So if you decide to run this in the 540E, this is the switch that you would use for that. You would put your transmission, the gear shift into 540E, and then push this button. Finally, you have the auto and manual for your PTO. If you're out in the field and you lift, a, you lift a, an implement up, such as a tiller, your PTO will automatically shut off. Like has been mentioned, you have all your, you have all your buttons on the pillar here a lot of these for your like for your windshield wipers your lights and so forth this these are your cruise control and then your differential lock moving up here to the dashboard you have your four-wheel drive engagement right here you also have the ability to stop your regen or do an automatic regen or do a manual regen this is the button that's used for that moving over to the other side here you have your front grille headlights and your hazard lights so moving over here to the side, you have your turn signal switch is like your automotive switch. It does have headlights on it, a horn, and then your turn signals. They have redesigned the dash on this tractor. This is a very nicely designed dash. It has a very nice layout to it. Very nice LCD screen in the center. Uh, well designed. It does. It, it's just a well designed tractor. For me, one of the most one of one of the exciting things uh, as a creature comfort is the way that they've done this steering column. This is now a friction lock steering column. It does not use it does not use the uh, uh, gears to lock into three or four places. It you can actually lock that steering wheel in, in wherever you want to. Mirrors on both sides and the mirror here in the center. AC controls, they look really nice. And then finally, uh, all your all your vents that are in this tractor, there are a total of, of eight vents in this tractor. There are two on each side of the tractor, and then there are four in the front that can be used for both defrosting and you can add it in and use it with the AC. But last but not least, we have our position control, our draft control, and then our auto lift over here. Again, and you can pull this up and it pulls it to the, the highest point and then you can let go of this and it actually will drop that implement back into the ground to the position that you've put it set it at these are all really nice features windows that open and close so today we took the opportunity to bring you guys along with us we came out here to deets tractor here in seguin texas we want to thank them for giving us the opportunity to to film and show this tractor to you guys this is a very nice tractor in my opinion, LS has stepped up the game quite a bit, has done a really nice job with this MT-774. If I needed to buy another tractor today and I wanted a 74 horsepower tractor, this tractor would definitely be in the running. This is a very nicely well-designed tractor by LS. So if you get an opportunity, go out and take a look at an MT-774 if you're looking for this size of tractor. This is a larger frame tractor. It is on the utility platform. It is a, uh, a, a very nicely done. 
I can't, there's, I don't have a lot of complaints about it. We'll talk hopefully more about this tractor a little later on in other videos, but until next time, thanks.